team i hope you're all well i am about to go to bed <laughs> this seems like a strange time to be up starting a reading vlog but it's currently 25 past 8 on friday evening and i'm about to go to bed to have some sleep before i get up again around about quarter midnight ready for becca's sprints to start off becca's 24 hour 24 48 hour book -oplathon. <laughs> and i'm really excited I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm really excited and I can't wait. But I thought I would start this reading vlog, let you know my reading plans for at least the first 12 hours because my aim is to do all eight prompts. Now, my method behind this is I'm going to read a short book, like a really short book or a novella or a graphic novel for one of the prompts and then like a a full novel for the other prompts that's my aim um if i can fit audiobooks in for those novels that would be great as well so that's my plan so the first two rules were for a fantasy and a book with a dark cover so for a book with a dark cover i'm going to be picking up skyward volume two which i'm really looking forward to reading i know this has some lightness on it as well but it is a reasonably dark cover so i'm really looking forward to continuing on with this series and carrying on with it this is a sci-fi in which um like 20 years previous or something 10 years previous whatever it was 15 years previous whatever it was um there ended up being this ended up becoming like a low grav planet and they kind of like float around and everything now so i'm really looking forward to continuing on with this i read skyward volume one a couple months ago now like last year i think so i'm looking forward to carrying on and i do have volume three if i end up with some extra time i can move on to volume three as well and finish the series out so that's for dark cover and then for fantasy i am picking up spell slinger by sebastian de castell this is a reasonably sized book i can't remember how many pages are in here 396 pages so almost 400 page book but i can get the audio and i'm really looking forward to it because the narrator is the same narrator that's doing the great coat series it's joe jameson and i really enjoy his voice so i'm really looking forward to this one and listening to the audio and getting through this series well the first book in this series anyway hopefully i enjoy it because i really want to pick the rest of the series up in april hopefully and yeah that's my plan so my first 12 hours are going to be skyward volume 2 and spell slinger i am going to start with spell slinger i think at midnight and then use this as a you know to break things up a little bit that's my goal um so yeah i'm looking forward to it a little bit terrified <laughs> to say the least but i'm excited i'm looking forward to this readathon and i cannot wait so i'm gonna go up to bed because i am pretty tired so i will see you in a little bit <laughs> introduce themselves aside from Starla until she freezes but um yeah introduce yourselves to your channel whatever and let everybody know what you're reading <laughs> it has just gone 2 a.m so i thought i would just check in with you let you know how i'm getting on currently reading spell slinger um i didn't think i was focused staying on then and i'm currently 90 pages into this so two hours in 90 pages into my first book i am still hoping that i can finish this by the end of my sprints at 12 p.m um fingers crossed that that is the case but we will have to see um so yeah fingers crossed i am really enjoying this so far it's going really really well okay so we're following kellen who is a young boy he's not far off his 16th birthday and just as he's about to face one of the f one of four trials um his magic just ha isn't coming to him at all he's always kind of struggled with his magic anyway which is a pain in the butt seeing as he comes from one of the strongest like magical families in this world and then um a mysterious woman turns up called uh ferrius parfax 
and she is uh, an Agosi. Um, I am still trying to figure out what that is at the moment, but she carries a deck of cards and I think she's going to help Kellen out, hopefully. So I'm really enjoying this so far. It's going really, really well, having a good time with it and I'm looking forward to carrying on, which is what I'm going to do now. And I will check back in with you when I have an update for you. I am a little bit terrified about my sprints later. Um, Becca's we're on it with Becca now. She's got 840 people watching, but she started like got to like over a thousand people watching, which terrifies me a little bit. I'm a little bit anxious, but I'm really excited um, and so far really enjoying this. So I'm going to go and carry on reading. We've got like 23 minutes of the sprint left, so I'm going to carry on and I will check back in with you when I have an update for you. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Let me just make sure I get the time on this so that editing oh, Steph okay. knows what time it is. We have Mog as well. We have other people vlogging as Hello. well. Hello! <laughs> Hi Mog. Hello everyone. Hello. 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 So many people. Oh my focus is not happy with me. So many people. Oh my people. god that's Okay, hello, good morning. It's currently quarter to eight. Uh, there are six and a half minutes left on the sprint that we're currently doing on Maddie's channel and at eight o'clock we're jumping over to mine. So I thought I would do a quick update here. I just wanted to give you a quick update on my reading. So because of the games that we played on Maddie's channel, um, I did have to swap my book part way through because I lost one of the rounds. <laughs> so I have gotten halfway through Skyward. Um, so I'm like here in Skyward, there's no page numbers, so I can't tell you what page I'm up to, but I'm up to chapter nine. So I'm halfway through Skyward and then, which I'm enjoying, but there's lots of bugs in here and it's freaking me out a little bit, but I'm enjoying, it's good. It's nice to be back in this world. I actually kind of forgot what happened at the end of Skyward volume one and it very briefly reminded me. So that was good. And then with Spell Slinger, you can see how far in I am with this. I'm doing really well with it and I'm so pleased. I'm up to page 289. So I have just over 100 pages left to go and I'm co pretty confident I'll be able to finish this during my sprints, which will be awesome. So even if I don't get Skyward quite finished during my sprints, if I can get this done, I'll be really happy about that. And then I can finish this off during Ashley's sprints and then start um, and pick, well, pick and start my next two books during Ashley's sprints as well. I don't know how far through Ashley's sprints I'm gonna get, um, I am pretty tired now and I'm starving as well. So I'm going to make some food during my first sprint on my channel because I haven't quite got enough time left to make something now. Um, but yeah, it's going well so far. Having a really good time. I had a great time with the game on Maddie's sprints. Um, so yeah, having a great time. Doing well with my reading, which I'm really, really happy about. Um, and I'm pretty confident I'll be able to finish these two, which is great news, because I was really worried. Once I picked Spell Slinger, I was a little bit worried I might not be able to get through it in the first 12 hours, but I think I'm gonna nail it, hopefully. And yeah, I'm excited. So I'm gonna make a move, because there's only uh, just under four minutes to go, and I need to get ready to hop over onto my channel. So yeah. Um, doing well so far and I will check back in with you when I have an update for you in a little while. Okay, hello, hello. It's 11.30 and I have managed to finish both of my books with a half hour to go, which is awesome. So I'm going to spend the next 23 minutes of my last sprint tidying the house up a little bit um, because I reckon what I'm going to end up doing is maybe doing the first one or two sprints of Ashley's and then going to sleep for a bit. I'm really, really tired. Um, so yeah, but I finished both of these. They both got four stars. I really, really enjoyed Spellslinger. I do prefer the Great Coat series, but I did enjoy this and I am excited to continue on with the series. I'm glad I gave it another chance because I did DNF this a couple of years ago. Um, I think at the time I just didn't know my reading tastes as good as I do now. So I DNF this a couple of years ago, but this was really good and I had a great time with it and I'm looking forward to continuing on with the series. And then Skyward Volume 2 continues straight on from Volume 1 uh, and it's really good. I gave this one four stars. I enjoyed the first one 
much better but this definitely continues on with the story nicely and i'm looking forward to picking up the third one maybe if i get a chance to fit it on bookopolathon this weekend i will do uh, just to finish the series out because i believe there's only three volumes so yeah i really enjoyed these so i'm really happy to have managed to have read both of my books in the time frame and i still have time left over and also that they were both four star so i'm really glad about that uh, very proud of myself indeed um so yeah i am gonna go now and tidy up the house for a little bit and then um at 12 o'clock i will come back and we will look at what the next roll drops are and pick my next two books so i'm really looking forward to that i'm thinking that i'm going to pick two smaller books this time around um on the basis that i am going to sleep for a decent chunk of the next 12 hours not like all of the next 12 hours but for a reasonable chunk of it i think i want to try and get five or six hours sleep if i can do so that's like half of the 12 hours so if i can just pick two smaller books in this one that would be great so yeah um that's my plan so i'm gonna go now get some tidying done and i will check back in with you in a half hour okay hello hello it is a little bit later on it's 10 past one now because i've had some dinner and myself jade and maddie have been like having a chat and stuff and hanging out for a little bit just been having a break really because um it's been an intense 12 hours of like sprints back to back so so the two rolls are as follows i will show you uh, the first roll and what i'm planning on reading for that and then show you the second roll so the first roll is roll drop two board one Okay, so the first prompt is to read a book by a person of colour and I am going to go for Mary and the Night Brothers by B.B. Alston. I'm really looking forward to reading this one. This is the Middle Grade Monthly book pick for March. So I really wanted to get this on here and this is perfect for that one. So I'm really looking forward to it and I know Jade's just finished reading it and she gave it five stars. So I am hyped. The next role. Um, is this shared the right screen? Okay, cool. 2021 board, roll number two is seven. And that is a contemporary. The next roll is contemporary. So I'm going to be picking up Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. And this is a poetry collection, but it is contemporary as well. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this one. It shouldn't take me too long. I have the audio rented from the library as well at the moment. I've had it for a couple of weeks in anticipation for Bookopolathon. So I'm really glad I've been able to fit this one on. I was going to do this for POC, but I really want to pick up a Marry and the Night Brothers. So I've put this on for contemporary instead. And I'm really looking forward to this one. I have already started it. I'm like 28 pages in and it's good so far. So um, this is the one I'm going to start with. And then I might read this for a little bit, but then I think I'm going to go and have a lie down for a bit and see if I can get some sleep for a few hours and then wake up um, a little bit later on in the day and then continue on with Amari. So that's my plan. I will update you when I have another update for you. Tell me that it's my fault, my fault that it's over Wish I played it different, I didn't know All the times that you call, call me to be close. Hello, hello It's many, many hours later um, It is quarter past nine in the evening on Saturday I went to bed at about i think it was about half two-ish and woke up at about half six i had a shower i had some food and i've just watched a couple of episodes of drive to survive so i am back in business with reading now but i'm three books down um because i managed to finish long way down by jason reynolds before i went to sleep i gave this four stars this was really good it is following a boy called william i think i mentioned this but it's following a boy called william whose brother sean was shot and basically it's told it's poetry and it's told in such a way that william is on his way to go and avenge his brother but when he gets in the lift of his apartment block 
um, every time the lift stops at a floor. It's basically told within the space of a minute within a lift, but it's told obviously over the course of this 300 odd page book. Um, but every time he stops at a floor, someone gets in and it's basically a ghost of his past. So, um, they are trying to prevent him essentially from making this mistake of avenging his brother on his own. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was good, very touching, very well told. The audiobook is brilliant as well. I followed along with the audiobook. So I gave this four stars. So that's three books down, all four star reads, which is great. And my next read is going to be Amari and the Night Brothers by B.B. Alston. I could pick something a bit shorter so that I get it finished before midnight or for midnight for the next um, roll drop and for the next prompts. But I kind of want to still go ahead with this because I do want to read it for this readathon. So far having a really good time. Glad I had a sleep earlier. I was dozing off. I am starting to get a little bit headachey so I'm hoping that doesn't stick around too long but we'll see what happens. My intention now is to stay up right through till the end of Jade's sprints and then I'll probably sleep again at that point. Um, but we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed that's the case because I do want to go on Jade's sprints if I can if um, she will have me. Um, so yeah uh, we'll see what happens, but I'll keep you posted, let you know how I'm getting on, and I will check back in with you later. Okay, hello. It is now half past midnight. Um, I've just watched the roll drops, decided what I'm going to read, etc. And I thought I would give you a quick reading update as well, let you know how I'm getting on. So I did start Amari and the Night Brothers and then allowed myself to get distracted. So I managed to get 45 pages in. I am enjoying this, but I'm going to put it down for the time being and go back to it next week when I'm like back in my normal reading week and not, you know under a bit of pressure because I really want to enjoy this and I'm just not in the right head frame for a reasonably long book now so I kind of need to stick to shorter books from here on out I think. So on that basis I was reading this for the uh, person of colour prompt however what I'm going to do is swap it out for Monster, which is a graphic novel that I have. So I'm gonna swap it out for this one instead and I'm gonna read this. So I am like kind of behind now on the basis that I've got the new uh, roles. So let's find out what those new prompts are and I will tell you what books I'm reading. Okay, are you guys ready for the first roll drop? Book on board, roll number three. Is it eight? And that is the first book in a series. So the first role is to read the first in a series and myself and Jade are going to buddy read Lightfall. This is the perfect opportunity to do this because it is the first in a series. It's got the number one on the side of it. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm really looking forward to this one and Jade are going to buddy read that. And then the second role. 2021 board roll number three. So the second roll came back with a chance card. So for this one, I decided to pick two of my shorter books on my TBR that I'm kind of interested in reading. One of which I really, really want to read. The other one I really, I do want to read, but it's been on my shelves for the longest freaking time. Um, so I have put the option to Twitter and done a poll on Twitter. And these options are The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James and also Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. I don't know what I was going to say then. So these are my two options for my chance card. And I'm really looking forward to reading both of these books. This is the one that's been on my shelves for the longest time. And this is the one that I really 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 want to read so we'll see what comes back with this but at the moment I think Howl's is move is is moving I think Howl's is winning even um so yeah we'll see what comes back I've only put that up for an hour but I actually think what I'm going to go and do is have another lie down and try and get a couple more hours sleep before Jade sprints start at four um because I am going to be going on the sprints and we're going to be literally buddy reading this together so which will be nice um, so yeah, um, over the next 12 hours, I am going to sleep, 
my intention once I finished on jade sprints is to actually sleep again at a like from eight o'clock onwards until the next roll drop have a decent chunk of sleep then so I'm going to try and get a couple of hours now so kind of like this is what my TBR looks like over the next 12 hours but it's only one of these two probably this one so this is what it will look like this I'll be definitely reading during jade sprints um, so at some point I need to get through these two as well um, so I might actually go to bed and read monster in bed before I go to sleep um, so that that's done and then I just need to focus on those two during jade sprints so yeah that's where I'm up to I know it's a bit of messing about because I'm swapping my books out as I'm going along but I just was not focusing enough on Amari and I don't want to spoil it by not you know trying to force myself through it so yeah I am having a great time still. I'm looking forward to having a bit more of a lie down um, in a little bit as well. I'm just quite tired. I don't know if I'll actually sleep or whether I'll just have a relax in the dark for a little bit, but yeah. And I shall check back in with you and I've got something to update you on. Yeah, you can yeah. have. All right, have you? 7 a.m. the usual morning line up. Pick up a book and read till your eyes are small. Hop on a mask and sprint until the time's up. Read again and by then you're halfway to the end. So then I'll read the page or maybe two or three. Consult my TBR, it's the book of Berlin. I'll read sci-fi and lit and maybe fantasy. And wonder when will we fit sleeping? <laughs> That's amazing! Oh. And that is the small ballad I wrote for you. Hello, you just saw Jade's rendition of 7am. You can guesstimate what time it is. It's currently 10 past seven. I'm about to go to bed. I've just come off Jade Sprints a sprint early because I'm just so fucking tired and I need to go and have a sleep. So my plan is to sleep. I've set my alarm for half 11 so that I can get up for the next roll drop. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed, but I thought I would give you a quick reading update. I have managed to read a light fall. Myself and Jade Buddy read this in the first two sprints of her sprints. You know where I'm going with that. I really, really enjoyed this. This was so, so cute. We're following B and also um, Cad. Um, B lives with her grandfather, who is a pig wizard, and which is like just the best thing ever. And one day she is out getting supplies for her grandfather's shop and comes across um, Cad, who is a Cala. What do, how do you say? Uh, Galdurian and Galdorian Galdurian and basically these two end up on an adventure looking for um, B's grandfather because he goes off on his own mission but he's quite old and he can't remember things much and stuff so um, yeah it was so good and I kind of need the second one immediately like it was really really good it's adorable the illustrations are really cute it's a lot of fun a great adventure I love this so much so I'm really, really happy to have finished this one. I gave it four stars and I had a great time with it. So that was for, what prompt was that for? First in a series. And then for my chance card, Howl's Moving Castle did win. So I have started this now and I'm 88 pages in. So I will carry on with this later on, but it obviously will run into the last 12 hours of the readathon so i will kind of have to be careful what i'm picking up for the last two prompts for the readathon because i still haven't read monster yet either so i do at the moment this is what i have left to read so the rest of howls and then monster as well and then obviously the last two roll drops will happen at 12 on Aaron's channel and i will need to pick books for those as well so i will probably end up picking just like graphic novels for those maybe I kind of wanted to pick another novel, maybe like a um, adult romance novella or something, but I don't know. I might have to pick graphic novels. We'll see, but I will keep you posted, let you know what my plan is, and when I wake up, 
we'll do the roll drops at 12. That's probably the next clip you will see. So yeah, I so far I'm happy with how things are going. I've managed to finish four books. I'm part way through my fifth and then I have my sixth. So seven and eight will be coming later on. But I'm just very, very tired. I feel quite delirious, very slow. So I'm gonna go to bed now and I will check back in with you later on. Okay, so that first roll drop, which I've just shown you, is a book that is a genre other than what you would normally read. So I'm going to core pile, I'm going to do this with you now, but I'm going to core pile and I'm just going to check what my two Aaron's basis for this was actually really, really good. Her recommendation was really good. So look at your two most read genres and then ignore them and anything else you could read. So we're going to do that. And we are going to have a quick butchers on my core pile sheet and see what my two most read genres are. Because off of the top of my head, I'm going to say fantasy and either contemporary or romance, but I'm not sure. So fantasy is 59.5% of what I read. Uh, the next one is... It's graphic novels, but that's not really a genre, that's a type of book. So the next genre that I read the most of is um, sci-fi or contemporary. So uh, that kicks out fantasy, sci-fi and contemporary, because both sci-fi and contemporary are 7.1%. So I could still pick up romance. We'll go fantasy and sci-fi kicked out. So we can go romance... Um, dystopia, poetry, historical fiction. Um, so I need to have a think and decide what I'm going to read and then I will come back to you and let you guys know. Okay, I'm back. So for the first prompt, we have other and I can read anything that's not a fantasy or a sci-fi. So for this one, I am going to go for Tools of Engagement by Tessa Bailey. I can get the audio for this and it's nine hours long so I can listen to that on double speed. Um, so yeah, I really wanted to like fit an adult romance on here because that's what I'm really feeling like reading at the moment. So I'm really glad I've been able to fit this one on and I am hyped to pick this one up. And then the second prompt is... So we want a book that's set in the present. So for this one, I have two options dependent upon how I'm getting on for time. So the first one is a graphic novel and it is Speak by Laurie Hulse Anderson and Emily Carroll. Um, I believe that this, I think, is to do, it's either with sexual assault or just assault in general, I believe. Um, but it is a contemporary, so it's set in the present day. So I have this as an option, which is for um, in case I am running out of time and I just need something that's reasonably, reasonably quick. It is chunky, but it is a graphic novel, so it will be quicker to get through. My other option is Potkin and Stubbs uh, Ghost Catcher. So this is a fantasy fantasy but it's middle grade and it is set in like the current day i would really like to finish this series out of where it's up to anyway i don't know i think this is the last one in the series um so i would really like to finish this series out if i can pick this up i will do but if not then i'm going to go for speak if we are running low on time because obviously i now have um this lot to get through <laughs> plus um one of these two so those are my plans now for the rest of the day. My intention is just to sit and read for the rest of the day and do nothing else. So I'm really excited to carry on reading now. I'm feeling pretty awake. I've got my sneak. I'm going to have my uh, pot noodle now and watch a little bit of TV, I think, just for the time being because I can't read whilst eating. And then I will get back to reading. I have started Monster now and I've put I'm not that far in. I just started it before Aaron did the drops. I'm only a couple pages in, six pages in. But I don't think this will take me too long to get through. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. So I will check back in with you when I've got something to update you on and let you know how I'm getting on. I don't want to let you down 
It's the only thing I think about every morning You know my life ain't figured out But I promise if you stick around it'll never get boring We'll spend nights cheap red wine Look at flats even though we can't afford them I don't wanna know what's going on here and we're just like Hello, it's currently 10 past 6 and I thought I would give you another update. So I have had, just had some food. I just had a cheese and ham toasty with some crisps. <laughs> Nutritious. Um, for my tea and I want to finish one more book before I crack open a beer. So um, I have now finished books 5 and 6. Is that right? Yeah, books 5 and 6. So they are Monster, which I was reading for the contemporary prompt. This was a graphic novel following a um, boy who had basically gotten caught up in a um, hold up. So like a store hold up that then turned into a murder. And um, it's him going through the trial and basically turning this trial into like a movie in his head. Quite cleverly done, but I didn't feel like the transitions were very smooth. I kept finding myself tripping up and not really knowing what part of it was like deemed a movie in his head and what part of it they were actually in court and going through this the process and stuff. And I do feel like it could have done with a bit more of an intro. I gave this three stars. Overall, it was great. The writing style, uh, the illustrations were great and the general story, the gist of the story was great. Um, it's just the execution wasn't perfect. Um, but yeah, overall I enjoyed it and this worked out really, really well for the contemporary prompt as well. So I'm glad I managed to get that one done. And then we have Howl's Moving Castle, which I was reading for the for the chance card prompt. So I had Howl's Moving Castle and also the girl, the loneliest girl in the universe. I've took the book upstairs. Loneliest girl in the universe as options and Howl's won, which I was expecting to be perfectly honest. And I was happy with, because I wanted to read both of those books, but I wanted to read this one more. I was really, really highly anticipating this one. And unfortunately it's fallen flat on its face for me. And I'm really, really, really fucking sad about it. I've ended up giving this two stars, which I'm really, really sad. Um. I think it's a combination of the writing style, which when I was filling it in and Corpile, um, it turns out this was originally written in 1986, I believe. And then uh, this edition was done in 2000. So this was written a long time ago. Like this book is, the story itself is older than me. Um, but I overall wasn't a fan of the writing style. It was very, you know, original fairy tale esque, quite old school writing style. And I wasn't a huge fan of that. Uh, similarly, I just was a little bit bored. I It started off really well. I was really enjoying the story of the three sisters and them kind of being split up and going in their own separate ways. But then once Sophie ended up with this curse on her, I didn't really understand what was happening from this point on. I know she was looking for a way out of the curse, but I didn't get... I didn't understand her process of getting to where she got to to try and make that happen. Um, and I feel like maybe like a hundred pages could have been cut out of this <laughs> i don't know i think it's the slice of life type side of things that i wasn't a huge fan of you very much follow sophie howell um, and michael through their day-to-day -day living and i just found it a little bit boring i didn't see the point in that i wasn't sure what the reasoning was behind it i think on the basis that i wasn't fully invested in the characters either meant that I didn't really care about this slice of life side of things so I'm just really sad about it really really sad because I know this is massively hugely loved in the community I know it's one of Becca's favorite middle grades of all time um so yeah she's a little sad with me but somebody did call me out and say like watch Steph end up DNF in one of the most beloved middle grades of all time had that comment not happened, I probably would have done. <laughs> I was determined to make it through this book. 
despite the fact that I was not enjoying it. Um, so yeah, I'm really sad about this because I was highly anticipating it. I honestly thought this was going to be like a five star read for me. I thought it was going to be one of my favourite middle grade series of all time. And I was really looking forward to buying the next two in the series so that I could have them all on my shelves because these are really pretty editions of this book as well, of this series. So I'm really sad. I'm probably not going to carry on with the series. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet, but I probably won't carry on with the series. I'm just really sad about it so yeah two stars for this one unfortunately so i just have two books left i did start this back in during polathon and i got like i think it's like 20 percent in so i am going to go back one chapter and listen to that chapter again and start from there i'm not going to restart the whole thing because a i do not have the time and b i remember what happened generally i just want to go back a chapter so that i can refresh my memory of where i was up to so we're going to be reading that but then for the last final prompt it's to read a book set in the present and i was it was a toss-up between speak and also potkin and stubbs on the basis that potkin and stubbs is 385 pages and this one is 387 but it's a graphic novel, I am going to pick up Speak because I do think that this one will be a lot quicker to get through. Well, I know it'll be a lot quicker to get through than this. I will end up saving this for April, I think, and put that on my TBR for April. So I'm going to be picking up Speak, and I think this is the next thing I'm going to do, is actually read this one so I can get through this, on the basis that if I don't manage to finish Tools of Engagement before midnight, this will actually fulfil both of the last two prompts, which is other and also um the setting present because this i think is like a, it's a contemporary but it's deemed hard hitting and i don't read a lot of hard hitting contemporaries at all so um yeah i it will definitely cover both of the final two prompts but i'm going to be annoyed if i don't get a chance to finish this before midnight on the basis that i will be so so close to having read eight books for this readathon I really want to make sure that I do manage to read eight books. So on that basis, I'm going to get a shufty on and get this read so that I can get onto this. So I probably won't update you again until I will show bits of um, Becca's sprints because I've got Cody's on at the moment. I've actually been kind of just reading through them, to be honest, even when they've been taking breaks to chat just to try and get through Howl's. And I will probably continue doing so for the rest of the evening because, uh, like I say, it's quarter past six now. So we have less than six hours left and I need to get through this and also this. And this I can ramp it up to two times speed. It's uh, nine hours and I'm already 20% through, but I don't know whereabouts in the book that leaves me. Um, and I don't know how long I've got left of it. I'm going to time like double the speed. So... We'll see how long I've got left. But yeah, I am looking forward to carrying on and hopefully I think I'm going to be cutting it close, but I do think I can make it. We'll see. But I'm going to go start reading this and I will check back in with you later. Hello, hello. It's 25 past 11. The last, I assume it's the last sprint on Becca's channel is about to end in like 20 odd seconds and i just finished my eighth book so i just about nailed it i was definitely pushing my luck but i've just about nailed it and i've managed to complete all of the cha challenges so i'm really really happy um i'm not gonna completely wrap this up now because i honestly am too tired to go through all of the books but i did read speak and i gave this four stars it was quite hard hitting and um dealt with some very difficult topics i think in a relatively good way um and yeah quite shocking but it was good um trigger warnings for sexual assault obviously be careful with this one um and then i read tools of engagement by tessa bailey i haven't put this through core pal yet so i need to do that so i can't rate it for you just yet but i really really enjoyed this this morning here was fantastic the story itself was brilliant um following beth bethany and wes in this one so um this is part of a series and i think my favorite thing about this aside from the smut and the enemies to lovers relationship is the anxiety rep in here with bethany it was as someone who suffers with anxiety and overthinking it was accurate very very accurate 
um, and I thought it was so well done and um, saw myself represented in this quite a lot. So I really appreciated that. I think Tessa did a really great job of that and I really do appreciate it. So yeah, really enjoyed this one. I reckon it's gonna get like four or five stars. It's not gonna get anything less than four. So yeah, really loved this one. It was very, very good indeed. And I can't believe I managed all eight books. So I will do a wrap up tomorrow morning um, fully and let you know exactly what I read and what I read everything and what prompts everything was for but for now I am gonna go so I will check back in with you in the morning happy new year <laughs> Good morning team. It is currently Monday morning. It's 11 o'clock and I am just going to wrap up Bookopolathon. I had an amazing, amazing weekend. I managed to get a decent night's sleep last night, which is really, really good. I woke up at nine o'clock this morning and I've just been lying in bed and slowly getting out of bed. So here we are. So to wrap up the weekend, managed to read eight books and complete all eight prompts and I had just such a great time. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that but let's go through what I read and what I rated it and I can tell you my total page count at the end as well um this is the order that the rolls came through not the order that I read the books so the first roll was for a fantasy and I read Spellslinger by Sebastian de Castell I gave this four stars it was great I had such a good time with this and I managed to get through it pretty quickly as well I was really really happy with that so um yeah this was a really really good one on this so basically this is following kellen who is minutes away from his first duel and starting for trials in order to become a spell spell caster however his magic is failing him which is a little bit unfortunate um he is just shy of his 16th birthday and he's pretty certain he's not going to make it to his 16th birthday then we're following Ferius Parfax, who is a mysterious Argosi, and she just kind of comes into town. She travels around with these three decks of cards, and she could be Kellen's only hope. Um, I just loved where this story went. It was really, really good. Really enjoyed the characters. I'm looking forward to seeing more from Kellen and Ferius, and I just had a great time. So I cannot wait to continue on with this series, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, four stars for Spellslinger. Next one was Dark Cover and for this one I read Skyward Volume 2. This is the next in the series. Obviously I think I've already explained fully what this is about um, earlier on in the video. So I gave this one four stars as well. It was really good. Great continuation on from the first novel and I'm really excited to get on to the third and final one in the series. So yeah hopefully I can do that in April. I'm really looking forward to doing so. Uh, fingers crossed. So yeah enjoyed this one at four stars then we had contemporary and i was going to read something else for this one but i ended up picking monster in the end because i started running out of time a little bit and i wanted to make my life a little bit easier this is a graphic novel again i think i've explained what this is about um following a young boy who gets caught up in a murder trial essentially he um, yeah just kind of follows him through this process I ended up giving this one three stars I really enjoyed the illustrations in here I think the story just didn't flow for me as good as it could have so that's the only thing that kind of tripped it up for me but overall really important story very good indeed and I do recommend picking this one up 
Then we had POC Rep and I read Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. I know that Becca has read this one previously and recommended the audio as well as physically reading. So that's what I did. I managed to get the audio from my library, which was great. And this was like a quick read, very important though. I just really, really enjoyed it. We're following a boy called Will, whose older brother, Sean, has been shot and killed. And Will wants to go and seek revenge. And on his way down out of his block apartment block he ends up coming across different ghosts of his past uh, that are essentially trying to stop him from making this big mistake uh, so it was really really uh, thought provoking and uh, quite an important read really really good i just love the way this was done it was really really good i really enjoyed the audiobook as well and i gave this four stars overall then we had a chance card and for this one my options were The Loneliest Girl in the Universe and also Howl's Moving Castle and Howl's Moving Castle won. I went into this thinking this was going to be a five star read and it turns out that that is not the case. I ended up giving it two stars. I'm really, really sad about it. I think I've explained why, but it's to do with the writing style and also to do with the slice of life side of things. I didn't really care for the characters enough for the slice of life to um do much for me other than irritate me a little bit so which is really really sad um but i am devastated about it like genuinely devastated i didn't actively hate read this i am really really gutted um but yeah i'm really bummed about it I i'm still gonna watch the anime i think though because i believe that the anime is fantastic so i am gonna watch that but yeah two stars absolutely devastated absolutely standard of me not to like a book general booktube favorite though like what naturally of course i didn't like it then we had first in the series and for this one myself and jade buddy read lightfall which is the first in this series and we both of us cannot wait for the next one and um, this is the girl and the galdorian and basically we're following a young girl called b and the galdorian is called cad and um basically they are looking for b's grandfather who is a salty pig wizard and i am living for that it was fantastic the illustrations in here are gorgeous the adventure is fantastic i just had such a good time with it and it's just so original like i've never seen anything like this before i just had a really really good time it was cute it was adorable it's definitely going to be one that i read to thomas in the future he's going to have such a good time with it and i cannot wait for the rest of the series to come out i don't know how many there's going to be but i hope the next one comes out really really soon because i had a great time and i'm so glad i got to buddy read this with jade so yeah four stars for this one then we had other and for this one you basically had to pick a genre that isn't one of your like most read genres so aaron's interpretation of this one was to basically take two your two highest read genres and ignore those and you can read anything else from whatever you else you would normally read which was a great way of doing it essentially um so yeah on that basis i checked core pile you went you went through the process with me and my highest rated was fantasy and then graphic novel but graphic novel isn't a genre it's a type of book so i scratched that and the next one was sci-fi so fantasy and sci-fi were out and it this was perfect because i really really wanted to pick up an adult romance so i picked up tools of engagement by tessa bailey and my god was i down to the wire with this i managed to finish this one at half past 11 last night so i just about made it because this was the last book i read for the whole readathon and i really in i enjoyed this one this is part of a series the first one is fix her up and the second one is love her or leave her fix her up has been my favorite so far but i really enjoyed this one as well i think i might enjoy this one a little bit more or maybe not because fix her up's got fake dates in it but i really enjoyed this one this is enemies to lovers and we're following bethany who is one of the sisters of the castle family so basically we were following uh, georgie castle in the first one and in the second one we're following rosie who is the best friend of both bethany and georgie um, and in this one we're following bethany so in this one bethany basically um there is a storyline that builds up to this and essentially you should really read these books in order because bethany's storyline builds up throughout both of the first two books but essentially in this book she's flipping a house with um wes who is 
her foreman and she decides to flip this house she goes out on her own away from the family business she flips the house and this ends up becoming it ends up getting the attention of a producer and it becomes a tv show in which it's brother versus sister because her brother does this as a job generally she tends to do the interior of the house once it's done whereas this time she's literally like back to basics with a really run down house that she wants to completely renovate both inside and outside so with the help of Wes who is her foreman she does this but these two have like a hate to love relationship essentially so to begin with they are enemies and the relationship that builds up in this is fantastic I had such a great time with it the smut is everything i loved the smut in here it was amazing tessa does so well with the smut scenes and not only that but bethany has like severe anxiety and i just really loved the relationship of someone who suffers with anxiety i really loved the representation of bethany's anxiety immediately i was like oh my god like immediately before tessa could write it i was like thinking of the issues that bethany would have with this situation and then tessa wrote it down and i was like oh shit i feel completely seen right now so this was very very well done on that front um as someone who like i say lives with anxiety uh, but also i really appreciated seeing it from wes's point of view as well this is told in such a way that you get it from bethany's point of view and wes's so it's multiple points of view but wes was amazing at being able to calm bethany down and kind of talk her off the ledge she was building herself up on um so he it's catching her at the right time and being able to do that but it was just so fantastically done the representation here was brilliant and i really enjoyed it and for that reason it got five stars like the smut was great i loved the storyline yes it was a bit cheesy in places but i also loved the whole construction side of it as someone who works in construction as well i really enjoyed the flipping houses side of it it's something that i've always thought about doing in construction i don't particularly like where i'm at in my construction career side of things but flipping houses is something i've always been really interested in so this house that i live in started as a house flip and i ended up staying because <laughs> i loved the house so much in the end but yeah really really enjoyed this one so it got five out of five stars the final prompt is to read a book that was set in the present and for this one i read speak which is a graphic novel that um follows a young girl who was raped at a party she phoned the police and since then she has been kind of tainted with this brush of oh she's a snitch blah 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 she's a rat and all this lot and nobody will speak to her in school she's like severely bullied at school nobody knows that she was raped at the party and that's the reason why she phoned the police um and this book basically follows her through this journey of having to live this way her grades are, are going down the shitter basically and just a lot is changing in her life her parents constantly arguing they're really mad with her because her grades are shifting and she's not doing well in school anymore she doesn't speak to anyone anymore she doesn't open up to anyone she doesn't appear to have any friends but slowly but surely you follow her on this journey to um coming not coming to terms with what happened but finding her voice and being able to tell people what happened and slowly but surely it turns out that this she may not be the only person that this has happened to and it was a uh, very um eye-opening profound it was just a very interesting but also heartbreaking read i would be really really careful with this one obviously trigger warnings for rape sexual assault bullying depression uh severe anxiety things like that so do be really really careful picking this one up um i may have probably told you a little bit more than you need to know going into this one just to try and cover the basis because but i just want you to be aware picking this up this is not an easy read so do be careful going in um but yeah i it was um really good i don't want to say really good that's like poor taste but you you know what i'm trying to say it was a uh, profound and shocking and very eye-opening and i gave this one four stars so um on that basis i managed to read 2252 pages in the whole of the 48 hour readathon i have no idea how many hours i slept it wasn't a lot but i've no idea how many it was um and i had just an incredible time honestly it was just a blast an absolute blast so again thank you to becca for asking me to be one of the hosts and to host some of the sprints um thanks to the girls for having me on their sprints as well maddie 
Maddie and Jade, really appreciate it. And thanks to you guys for taking part as well. I know that it's made Becca's heart sore this weekend and it's also made, made mine sore and probably loads of other people's as well to see the community coming together. Every time I scroll through Twitter, it's constantly Becca's Bookopolathon, Becca's Bookopolathon. And it was just so nice to see. Everyone was having a great time and I'm just hope that everyone really did have a good time with it because I had a freaking blast. So thank you again, Becca. I love you. I'm so proud of you. You've done an amazing job. So thank you again for asking me to help out and to host. Um, and yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. I don't know what it's going to look like. I know I've probably got like a really solid, decent amount of clips. I'm really hoping they're dead short. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. Please, if you don't have any other comments, please leave like a dice in a die, a dice in the comments down below if that's all you want to leave. Um, I really appreciate it when I know if you've gotten to the end and you want to leave a comment but you're not really sure what to say leave a dice but uh yeah let me know what you read how many pages you read did you have a good time did you take part what happened blah 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 let's chat and i shall see you next time bye for now